One of the biggest appeals to games like League of Legends is their ranked modes. Now you've probably played some sort of ranked game before, so I won't explain how they work. It's basically just people coming together to take video games very seriously. But in most cases, at the end of every year, the developers give rewards to players who achieved certain ranks. However, for some players, these rewards are meaningless. To them, the only thing that matters is being the best. In this case, challenger rank. Depending on the size of the server you play on, this rank is home to the top 50 or 300 players. Every year, there are stories of players who failed or succeeded in their quest to achieving this coveted rank on the very last day of the season. And the final day of season 11 was no different. But today we focus on one player's journey. We have a dilemma going on, boys. Just open it, man. Open the rift, man. <laughs> this can't be real, bro. Oh. <laughs> this guy's in tears, bro. Okay, I think I know what to do. On November 15th, 2021, at 11 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, the player Johnny Fast TV on Twitch would turn on his stream as he makes his final sprint for the highest rank in the game. Now, there's a point to me mentioning the time. The ranked queues would officially close on November 16 at 2.45 a.m. This means that if this player wants to reach Challenger, they must do it within the next 3 hours and 45 minutes. As of turning on his dream, he is Grandmasters with 840 LP. The cutoff for Challenger was 868 LP. All he needs to do is win his next two games and he's in. His first game would be very close, but it ultimately resulted in a loss. Additionally, before starting this game, he had trolls in his champ select and the game was dodged. And just to be sure, he waited a bit to make sure those players wouldn't be in his next game. So due to the time spent waiting, his first game would actually end exactly at midnight. Now giving him only 2 hours and 45 minutes to reach Challenger. And of course, because he lost that game, the road is now longer. He must win his next three games. Winner, Ganyo. Luckily for him, the first two games went smoothly, and he is now one game away from being challenger. His account is now at 861 LP and only needs to gain 15 LP at the least. However, the time is now 1.42 AM. Johnny basically has exactly one hour to get into a game and win. At 151, he gets into champ select and things start to go wrong. Now, can I be bad, right? No way! First, his main champion gets banned. And then his jungler picks an inadequate champion. Oh, I thought he picked Ziggs. What? At this point, our hero begins to lose their sanity. I'm one game off challenger, man, Shaden. My one trick is banned, I'm losing it. But lucky for him, the game was dodged. Shaden! Nice! Nice! Here Johnny decides he does not want to risk having the same players in the next game and potentially having his main champion banned again. So he begins to do some math. So every game on average on the past five games, so one, two, three, four, five, past six games, the average a game. So 21, 26 plus 23, 43 plus 15, 14. So we divided by six. The average game is 25 minutes. 25 minutes average game, right? 25 minutes average game. We have 50 minutes left. So that means that the queue needs to be no longer than 25 minutes. The following game would enter champ select at 2.07 a.m. He would now need to get through champ select and win the game within the next 38 minutes. But again, things don't go as planned. Please play normally DC, bro. Like, come on, bro. This guy got Lila and Wee, bro. This guy is win trading. This guy picked... <laughs> no, bro. Why, bro? It's my last game. There's 34 minutes left, bro. And you're being twisted feet, bot lane. Understandably, our hero begins to have a mental breakdown. Bro, <laughs> this <laughs> Just 
can't be real, bro. However, even before the game could start, more problems arise. Can the game start or what? So I wasn't aware of this, but apparently at the end of every ranked season, there are clearly some sort of challenger gatekeepers making things more difficult for players to rank up. In this case, it seems to be that the game was intentionally being stalled from starting. The game took almost exactly four minutes to begin. Like bro, there's really someone making the game take 10 years to load like on purpose. Like all jokes aside, like I'm not even trolling. It's probably someone that disconnects and reconnects every two seconds or something and just forces the game to wait for them to load or something. But despite his concerns, no one caused the game to be remade. This is it. Every league player has at one point dreamed of being challenger. Johnny is at the door of that dream. Still, this dream must now be achieved within the next 29 minutes. Guys, we win before 29 minutes and we make history. The beginning of the game was actually as good as you can really ask for. All lanes were doing fine, he himself was playing great, getting objectives, but the win wasn't guaranteed. And one thing still hanged over the player's mind. Yo, please someone check. How many times do we have left? How many times do we have left? How many, how many times do we have left? Please. And at times, things got desperate. Okay, Jenny, I people. No, no, no. Each of you, five total for fast win. Please, man. Please, man. Please, man! Despite being a difficult game with many challenges, Johnny proceeded to get 15 kills, 3 deaths, 11 assists, and won the game. Winner. He needed 3 wins in a row to reach challenger, and he won each and every single game. But it was too late. The ranked queues would close at 2.45 am. Johnny would win his game at 247, meaning that he quite literally lost out on being challenger in season 11 by two minutes. So now we end, now we group, now we end, now we end, no! And you may have already pieced this together yourself, but in the end, the time that was intentionally delayed at the loading screen was four minutes. If this didn't happen and the game played out the same way, our hero would have reached his goal with two minutes to spare. But it's actually deeper than what I just mentioned. This final game was very interesting because not only did Johnny need to win this game to get Challenger, but in fact, three other players were in the exact same position, which is exactly why the game was stalled. Once the players on the enemy team figured out that they were going to lose, they intentionally did everything they could to drag the game out. At some point, the live stream caught the attention of popular streamer Tyler1 as he was looking for the final games being played out in the season. I don't care if, if I was on the enemy team, I don't care bro. If I'm not getting challenger, you're not getting challenger. The timer was passed by two minutes. Johnny would end his stream after realizing the disappointing reality of his situation. But do remember that this is kind of a shoot for the moon and if you miss, you'll land on the stars kind of deal. It definitely stings that the cutoff for challenger in NA is the top 300 players and he literally ended the season as rank 303. But that's still exceptional. Additionally, this player still hit Challenger earlier in the season. They just didn't end the season in Challenger. For example, Tyler1 was also in Challenger this season, but didn't maintain the rank in the end. But like he says, Grandmaster sounds cooler than Challenger anyway. Grand Dude, say it out loud. Grandmaster. You're the Grandmaster. Challenger. But alright guys, as always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you haven't already. I know you haven't. And if you can, follow Johnny on Twitch. It's the least we can do. The link will be in the description. With that being said, take care and I'll see you again 
next week. Maybe. <laughs>